Hello, it's Alina from Eximate Mastery here. Today we're going to have a quick video on how to create headlines or separations on your report. So like when we're supplementing, I recreate the original statement of loss with the, what the adjusters paid. Then I put a line, supplement items listed below. So there's a clear definition of where the supplement line items start and um, can really communicate well just looking at the report. There's also other headlines that you can create if you want to break up a room. Let's say you have a living room. You could have ceiling, walls, floor if you wanted to. To. I've seen that application used. So let's take a look. It's really simple and easy, but it's not intuitive on how to create a line item break in your report. So here I am in the estimate item section of a project and I've got a couple of line items added here and uh, want to go ahead and break, make that break, like I said, supplement items listed below so the adjuster can see what we're asking for. So I'll do this here in the living room. And all you're going to do is select a blank line, go to the attachments or the notes, F9 notes, they're called a myriad of things and then load a note here. So I've already saved one in my note template section, so I'm just gonna go load my note. Supplement items listed below because I type that every day. There's no reason for me to type ever again. I can always save it as a note and then go and retrieve it. And then close that window and you'll see here that we've got the line item break. So then I can ask for more paint or maybe a different type of paint. Let's say I just wanted another coat of paint for whatever reason, it was a dark color, and I need another coat there. So when we take a look at that report, let me just show you what this looks like. I've also bolded the note there. Makes it really easy to see what I'm asking for. Of course, I'd probably put a note underneath the paint as well to explain why I'm asking for it. But you can see here that that headline or line item break really uh, creates an area in the estimate that you can clearly see what I'm asking for as supplement line items. The other thing that we do with the line item break is I usually can go up to the main level here and I like to begin my report with an attachment or a note that states this item has been priced using the, what month is it, April 2018 price list as current labor and material pricing should be used. So this is something when we want to update the price list, I'm letting the adjuster know at the very beginning of the report that I am using the current price list for when the work was performed. So that's the argument there. We should be have current pricing whenever we are dealing with labor and materials being installed today. So just to see what that looks like, we can go and view the report and you'll see at the very top, since I put it in the main level folder, you'll see that it begins the estimate that way. Sometimes I'll put it here, uh, maybe as the top line in the living room, uh, just as another example, if it, the main level, maybe it just doesn't quite catch your eye. Um, we could instead, you know, insert a line here and then put in the line item note. So we could um, do that as well. If that is a better look for you, use whatever you think the adjuster will be most likely to see on your report, but there are a couple of examples of how you can use the line item note as a headline. The other thing that I wanted to talk about was using it just as a simple break in the estimate. So I've seen it where people will put here uh, ceiling, just denoting what ceiling line items that they want added. Maybe their drywall is only at the ceiling and we only need to seal and paint at the ceiling, but then down below here, we wanna just denote that just the walls are being painted. So if you need to clarify or show what line items are going where, we could go ahead and put the line items where we want them, go ahead and just paint you know, the walls, one coat, what have you, um, and you get the idea. So you can also use these breaks to break up the line items on the estimate in the room. So just taking a look at what that looks like. We don't bold those usually. We're, they're just to denote different areas. So there's different ways to use it for different reasons. But I think knowing how to use the line item attachment note as a headline or a line break is useful. If you like this topic, please be sure to like this video below. It's like gold when YouTube currency when you guys like my videos. So I really appreciate all the likes out there. Also comment below if you have any questions on this topic or have any suggestion for future topics. I love to hear you guys' ideas on what we should be talking about here on this channel. And of course, go ahead and subscribe so you can get our weekly updates. We update every Tuesday on this channel here with new videos. 
videos. My name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. For more information on our Xactimate training for contractors, visit xm8mastery.com. Hope you have a really great week in your business, and I'll see you next Tuesday.